Hello everyone, it is Natalie with Crochet by Natalie Lucille and today we are going to make a hair bow. And I've used on this one um, kind of a bulkier yarn, but uh, I want to work on some techniques that I think add a nice texture to it. So let's go ahead and get started. I am using a G hook 4.25 millimeters. I have my scissors. I have a barrette piece. And I'm going bright today, so I've got me some real pretty pastel yarn. Yellow. You can, of course, use any color. And I'm not going bulky on this one, but um, that's okay. So what you want to do is create your slip knot. Just like that. And we're going to begin by chaining 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm trying to talk over the dog that's drinking water. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, yeah, and I'll have to work that out in a second, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Now we're going to create our first row. I know that looks long, but we are going to be working um, in between the chains or the stitches so it doesn't curl on us. So we're going to work a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So I, I like to work in the back ridges so it's yarn over. You're going to insert into the chain, yarn over, and you're going to pull up a loop where you have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and draw through all three. So we're going to continue that all the way across and what we do to make sure it doesn't curl we're going to skip the next chain and we're going to work the next half double crochet in the next chain so I go in the back ridge just like that skip half double crochet so you're going to work a total of 15 half double crochets in this row. If I can oops. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and continue working this across. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've worked my way across and I have 15 half double crochets and now we're going to turn and I'm going to show you one of the techniques let me see I don't know if you can see it here but if you look in this area here it shows almost like where the braid of your work is in the front that's what we're going to work on so now that you've turned your work this is what we're going to be working into because if you, let me pull this up so you can see. Here are the top, here is the top of your work right here. So you can see the V stitches. But if you turn it just a little bit, we're going to be working in this space here. I'm not sure of what the word is for it, but it's like this diagonal ish back bracket. That's what we're going to be working in. So you, um, actually we're going to chain two, my bad, not chain one. Can I do that? Chain two in turn. So we're going to work in this first space here. There's the top right there. We're going to turn and we're going to work in that little bracket. So we're going to work a half double crochet in that. So it's yarn over and you're going to come up from behind insert just like that yarn over draw up a loop yarn over draw through all three 
So you're going to come to your next bracket. So it's kind of like at this diagonal because there's the top. We're working in the back here. So again, it's yarn over, insert, yarn over, draw up through three. And we're going to do that all the way across. And you're not skipping any stitches on this. You're just working it across. So there's that back diagonal bracket. And so top, it's like that third part of the top of the stitch, if you want to say. So I'm just working across and you're going to have um, 15 of these half double crochet bracket. Because if you turn it here, you can see where the braids it, it reminds me of a braid. It's like um, the top of your crochet, but it, it looks braided to me. So we're still working our way across. So here's our next one. Just kind of turn it. See how it's kind of diagonal? We'll just work a half double crochet. The next one, there it is. See, there's the diagonal. And we're just working our way across. All the way across here. And you should, sorry, I think I went out of, oh, I really went out of camera there. Um, that doesn't seem right. Hold on, let me. I think I went into one too soon. One moment. Okay, so I went in one that was a little bit right on top of the other one. So it's yarn over. There's my diagonal because I went into the one that's right there. And I'm just going to continue working. And you'll have 15 half double crochets with this. Oops, I keep working a little bit out of the screen. And the next row is going to be different, so. But we will repeat this row another time as well. And come to the last stitch, and let me count just to make sure that I have 15. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Perfect. Now we are going to chain two and turn our work. Now on this, so you can see the nice braid kind of in the front. On this one, we're not going to be working that diagonal bracket. We're going to work in, here's the top of your half double crochets. We're going to work in the back part of each one. So you'll come in from the top in this V and work to the back like that. So in the first stitch, you're going to do your half double crochet. So it's yarn over. And if you can see the stitch that we'll be going into right back there, working in the back loops only. So yarn over, go to your next stitch. Here's the, the stitch itself. And go through the back loop. And you're going to do that all the way across. So it's just back loop only. I don't like the way that one looked. If you don't like it, redo it. See how it had it just kind of went in there. So I want to make sure that it goes into the back loop only. Half double crochet. I'm just going to work this all the way across. I'm 
Just keep working it. Back loop. And again, you'll have 15 of your stitches per row. It's okay that your work is kind of curling on you. It won't after a while, but isn't that pretty? <laughs> it's the little things. And using the back loop only, it kind of gives it this wave appearance as well. So we're still working in that back loop. We're going to count, make sure that we have just our 15. The last stitch. Let's count, make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Perfect. And if you have stitches that are specified, it is it's really important to make sure that um, chain two that you count just so your edges aren't like wavy and wonky. So in this one, we're going to do like what we did here on the first row. So if you look at your first stitch here, because if you look, there's the top. Remember on the last row, we worked in the top and worked in the back loop only. So you just kind of come down just a little bit. We're going to work a half double crochet in that diagonal back bracket. And we're going to work that all the way across. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, sorry I have a puppy that's trying to chew up everything. 11, and I'm working outside of the screen, my bad, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Again, we are going to chain two, and this is our last row that we'll be working on. So, so you see how it gives it that braid kind of look. We're going to come up here and work in the back loops only. So coming to your first stitch here, you're going to go in to the back loop only. And we're going to work and we're going to make 15. And remember, after this one, after this row, we're going to just continue on. We don't have to fasten off our yarn or anything. We're going to do the edging. Just to kind of give it a, a clean look. You don't have to do an edging on your bows, but on this one, I just it finishes the look because this is not an, a bad edging <laughs> end, but it just kind of um, makes it more like it has a finished look to it. So again, we're working in the back loop only, half double crochets all the way across this row. Just continue working across until we have to get to our edging. Again, back loop only, all the way across. And my yarn oops, wants to be 
wonky on me. Okay, let me count just to make sure I have 15. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Perfect. Now we are ready to work down our one side of our edge. So you're going to chain one. You're going to turn slightly. Not turn your work, but just turn it to the side. And we're going to work 10 single crochets across. So one and just try and keep them to where they're going to be even. Two, three, four, five, Seven, <laughs> eight, it doesn't want to go in, nine, just kind of move your tail back, ten. That tail in just a second. Now you finish that edging. Now we're going to turn it a little bit, chain one, and in that same space, you're going to single crochet. And then you want to make sure that because we'll single crochet in each across, you should <laughs> that's the key word should have. 15. So that's either one or two. We're going to find out in just a second. One. Wait a second. That actually is two. So find your post. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. I have a sneaking suspicion that that one down here is going to be one, but we're going to find out. Nine. Ten, eleven, yep, it was twelve. Actually, that was not so we're on thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. When I made the corner stitch, that should have been number one, not zero. So now we've made it to our end, chain one. And we're going to single crochet 10 across this edge as well. So in that same spot, you're going to cro single crochet one and then just work your way across. Two, three, oops, doesn't want to go in. Three, four, hold on a second, my, my yarn wants to come out of the center. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten in the corner spot. So we're going to chain one and we're going to work across our top here. 
So we have one, eight, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So we've made our, our way to the corner and then what you're going to do in that first stitch here or the the corner spot you're going to slip stitch you're going to grab your scissors cut you off your yarn and fasten off oops and we'll tie that tuck that in in a little bit so this is what your bow is beginning to look like so here finished product and we're going to do the cummerbund i call it the little cummerbund um i make up names so you're going to cinch it in the center it's kind of almost like an accordion like this it's hard to see but what we want to do now, I'm going to cut off a long piece of yarn because we're going to wrap it and then we'll use it just to basically hold it in place. And I've got to cut another piece of yarn. There we go. So now we're just going to cinch it into place, kind of have it the way you want it. I just kind of fold it in almost like an accordion. Well, that is not, let's see if it'll, maybe go like that. <laughs> My little accordion's not working at the moment. Kind of get, there we go. And you just want to place the arm. We're just going to wrap it in the center to cinch it tight. Hello. Just kind of, you won't see this in your end product. It's just to hold it, everything in place. Okay. And you could, I have made um, bows where this is, this ends up being the center piece. So I just basically, you could, that's actually kind of cute. Um, you can keep it like that, but what I'm going to do is I cut that quite long. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this through just to hold it into place. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that. Now we're going to work our little cummerbund that's going to go in the center. We're going to tuck those in the very end. So what you want to do, get your yarn again, and we are going to be making eight rows of this. So slip knot. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. In your second chain from the hook, we're going to work a single crochet. So, one, let me get that out of the way, so focus a little, there we go, one, two, and three, it's a little tight fit. Chain one, turn, and you're going to just work 
three across, chain one, three across, chain one. You're gonna do eight rows of these. I'll be back when the eighth row is done. Okay, so I have done my little cummerbund and now I'm ready to attach it. So I get my, my bow and this is where I clipped and tucked it in. So this is my back. So what you wanna do is just kind of wrap it. It's gonna be a little bit of a tight fit, but not too bad. So what, you got your working piece of yarn because you have a few tails that you don't want to work inside. So you're just going to slip stitch into each stitch across. To attach. So you're going to come to here and you're just going to work it. I've worked my chain in there, so but there we go. Next, and you're just grabbing it to the other side. And pull through both sides if you can. There's one, yep, there we go. And two, and then just can Continue going through. And then last one, insert. And here, pull it through and pull maybe <laughs> it through. So there we go. So I'm going to cut and fasten off. I'll just pull that through here. And I'm going to go ahead and just to secure it even more from the fastened off portion. And I'll tuck this as well. Because I'm I'm notorious for like when especially when I was beginning crocheting that I didn't tie any of them off and um, I'm gonna pull this through and tuck it and things would unravel or little loose pieces would stick out I can't stop that so this is just what I do kind of cut it and it'll tuck itself so there there you have it, and then I'm going to weave in and just kind of different angles here. And I'm just going to cut that here in just a second. Let me finish weaving in and I'll be right back. Okay, so ends are woven in. Now you just want to attach your barrette, whatever barrette that you want to use, you can. So that's the front, the back, and you can just slide it right in there. This is pretty thick, so you may want to get a different kind of barrette or weave that in if you can. But that is how you make a bow or one of the versions on how to make it. Y'all, thanks for watching. Click on the subscribe button and the notification bell because I upload regularly. So y'all take care and I'll see you on the next time around. Bye.